you're watching another Raw Instinct commentary. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Max here, or Ron Sync, and today we're going to be talking about the best SMG in Modern Warfare 3. Now, recently we talked about the best LMG in Modern Warfare 3, and we also talked about the best pistol in Modern Warfare 3 about 2-3 to three weeks ago. Now, a lot of you guys enjoyed that video. The last video, which was the best LMG, got about 5,000 likes within the first, like, 18 hours. I was shocked, trust me. I thought we were going to break about three to 4,000, but uh, we absolutely destroyed the ratings, guys. So thank you for that. Once again, all the ratings are really welcomed. But uh, today we're going to be talking about the best submachine gun because, I, I, you know, I assume that a lot of you guys like to use the submachine guns in this game. And I would like to break down what the best rushing SMG is. I want to talk about the best um, SMG for distance, but I'm going to be talking about every single gun. So sit back and relax, guys, and let's get right into this breakdown video. Alright, so the first weapon that we have here today is the UMP-45. As you do know, this is the first weapon that you will unlock in Modern Warfare 3, but this gun has a very big wrap behind it. If you do know, if you have played Modern Warfare 2, it was one of the fastest killing weapons in the game, and it was actually one of the best all-around weapons in the game, but they kind of nerfed down the damage a little bit to a 49-17 base damage. It comes in at about 32 rounds, which is pretty average for the magazine size, and the reload time is pretty fast at 2.5 seconds, but unfortunately, it's shooting at around 750 rounds per minute, which is one of the slowest shooting submachine guns in this game. Next up, we have the MP5, which is also a pretty infamous weapon back in Call of Duty 4. Unfortunately, this weapon's really overshadowed by a lot of better submachine guns in Modern Warfare 3. It's unlocked at level 4, so I'm guessing a lot of new players tend to use this weapon. The damage is a little bit better at a range compared to the UMP45, but up close, it's going to kind of lack a little bit. The round size is about 30 round magazine, which is also pretty standard. The reload time is at 2.53 seconds, so once again, pretty similar to the UMP45, but uh, the rate of fire is a little faster at about 800 rounds per minute. And also, you know, I think that the MP5 is a really great weapon, but unfortunately, Infinity War decided to increase the recoil and reduce the damage with this weapon. So from close range and long range, there's much better submachine gun options. So I'm going to tell you to kind of ignore this weapon for right now. Up next, we have the P90, which is also making its return from Call of Duty 4 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I truly think this is one of the fan favorites because of the awesome magazine size at about 50 rounds, and you can also slap on extended mags if you wish. But uh, if you take a look at the damage, it's also a 42 to 20 base damage, so same thing as the MP5, but unfortunately, it also has a better magazine size and a better rate of fire from up close. And once again, with some machine guns, a lot of them are kind of rushing weapons, so you want to look for a weapon that has a very high rate of fire. Uh, the reload time's at about 2.76, and it's on locked at level 32 so overall a really great weapon and now for what I believe is the best rushing submachine gun in the game, we're going to be talking about the PP90M1 or the PP90. Now, if you didn't already know, this is a superb weapon for any rusher out there because it's the fastest killing weapon from up close out of any other weapon in this game. Its unlock level is level 28. Its damage is very comparable to the P90 at about 42 to 17. And there's about 36 rounds in its magazine, which is once again really great for any submachine gun, lurking at around almost 40 rounds. Its reload time is about 2.67 seconds, and it shoots at 1,000 rounds per minute, which is the third fastest shooting gun in this game. Now to quickly cover the PM9, I'm not a really big fan of this weapon, but honestly after about 30 to 40 feet, the damage really tends to drop a ton, and the damage as you can see is 35 to 20, which is one of the lowest damage submachine guns in this game. So after the drop, it really just tends to take a long time to kill an enemy, so I really don't like this weapon all that much, but it's unlocked at about level 56, its magazine size is at about 32 rounds, and its reload time is 3.03 seconds. The only thing that's actually kind of sub-decent about this weapon is the rate of fire, which is the fastest shooting submachine gun in this game. At about 1,090 rounds per minute. Now, last but definitely not least, guys, we have the awesome MP7. This is probably one of the most favorited weapons upon the Modern Warfare 3 community, this and the ACR, just due to the fact that this weapon is a submachine gun and it really doesn't lose its damage from medium and from long range. It's unlocked at about level 74. It does the same damage as the PM9, which is 35 to 20, but it shouldn't be confused with the PM9 because the PM9 tend to, tends to lose its damage at a very kind of close range. It has a 40 round magazine and it reloads at about 3 seconds. The RPM or the rounds per minute on this weapon is 890. 95, which is once again pretty good. It's, it's pretty high up there, but uh, you can also throw on a few other attachments if you guys feel like it, like the extended mags or maybe even the rapid fire if you feel. Now, instead of trying to force you to use a certain weapon, guys, I'm going to let you make your own decision with both of these submachine guns. So I have two categories. On the left-hand side, I have an accuracy submachine gun, which is the MP7, and on the right-hand side, I have a damage submachine gun, which is the PP90. So on the right-hand side with the damage, you know, the PP90 has an awesome rate of fire, and it's an awesome weapon for hip-firing. I mean, a 1,000 rounds per minute is something that it's very hard to deny, and it's an awesome weapon for overall rushing. But on the left-hand side with the MP7, as you do know, the damage really drops off very slowly with this weapon, and it also has a really great magazine 
Magazine size and a pretty moderate damage. So overall guys, I'm going to let you make your own decision on what you think is the best sub machine gun in this game. And with that being said guys, that is pretty much a wrap. So anyways, I would like to hear your opinion on what your favorite submachine gun is in the comment section below. Let me know what that gun is and why you like it. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like rating down below guys. I really appreciate it. I know the last video got like 5,500 likes, which was absolutely amazing. That is actually the highest rated video that we've had in the first 24 hours of any video in my history. So thank you guys for that. Thank you for all the love, and uh, that is pretty much it. So it's Max here, or Ron Singh, I'm sending out. Remember to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, where I do post nude pictures of myself, and have a great day. Peace. And for two videos that you may have missed, on the left-hand side, we talked about the best LMG in Modern Warfare 3. And on the right-hand side, we compared the KSG-12 and the Spaz-12, a pretty good breakdown video. Click one that you prefer to watch, and bow set!